Good morning. Happy Thursday. It's drawing time. I have my Nightmare Before Christmas ears for our final Nightmare Before Christmas drawing. I'm also clearly still getting set up. Um, anyway, hi. No one's here yet. Just talking to myself. Um, oh, there's a couple people. So let's get this going. <clears throat> All right, there we go. Um, so yes, we are doing, um, Nightmare Before Christmas today. Um, if you were in the Patreon, we did Harry and Sally. No, not Harry and Sally. That's a great movie though. <laughs> Jack and Sally. <laughs> um, so we're going to do Lock, Shock, and Barrel. They're actually probably my favorite characters from Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, they're just, um, mischievous. I think they really, you know, they're, they're the kids in the show. So, um, I really enjoy them. The drawing, I think, looks harder than it is. Um, it, there's a lot to it. We're drawing three characters. There is detail, but if you really look at the shapes, it's quite simple. There's a lot of triangles. Um, so I don't think, um, at, you know, at first glance, I think you might think, ooh, this one's going to be hard. Probably the most complicated part of this drawing is just going to be the scale, like ha getting them all on the page. But Remember, if they're overlapping, that's okay. Just decide which one's in the front. So if you end up like, oh my gosh, I got to um, the last one and he, I don't have the room, then just put him behind or put him in front and the other guy behind so you can play with that. They don't have to be, you know, they can be touching. Um, I, it worked out for me yesterday to not have them touching, but I could draw them today and end up having to make them touch. So um just, yeah, do what you have to do. Um, if you keep losing me, I would suggest going out completely and coming back in. Um, <clears throat> I have, I will tell you, my, this streams always from my phone, from my wireless connection, because it's very strong. Our internet is at and and I can see that it's going out here and there. And my son has been having trouble with it all morning. So um, the streaming from my side is coming through very well. It's where it's pulling from on your side. So just know that. You might try completely exiting and calling back in though. Um, I don't really have any other announcements. Um, we have this drawing today and then we don't, and then we have a drawing Friday. Friday we're doing a whole ghost doodle page. Um, I realize that there are all sorts of fun ghosts. So um, that's Friday. And then we will be doing, you know, our drawing next Wednesday. If you're part of the Patreon, there will be a drawing on Monday. Um, buy your stickers. Stickers are still for sale. Um, it's really all I have. I'm going to have a couple promotions running in November and December for the holidays. So watch for those. Um, yeah, there'll be some sticker promotions, some um, private drawing sessions promotions, just, you know, getting into that holiday giving time. So um, let me flip you around and show you what we're doing today. So here are our guys. I think I have something on my lens. There we go. Again, it looks a little bit trickier than it is. Um, you know, when I was drawing it myself, I kind of thought, oh, this might be a tough one. But once you really start drawing, you know, you're not really doing hands. You're just doing these zigzag shapes. You have triangle, triangle, triangle 
triangle, 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 triangle. There are a lot of triangles. Um, their faces are very triangular. Um, so shouldn't be too bad. Let's pull this out. Oh, interesting. Okay. And let's get started. So I'm going to start um, the first character really close to the edge of the page. So that way I'm kind of making room. And she is on the taller side, plus she has a very tall hat. So you're just going to do a curved shape like this. And then that same curved shape on the bottom. The other good thing about these characters is they are a little bit um, like sketchy, meaning they don't have super straight edges. That's not his style. So if they come out a little rough for you, that's okay. They kind of look a little rough. So her hat, we're gonna draw an open rectangle up above. And then from this edge, we're gonna angle, and then we're gonna angle, and then we're gonna angle. And then you just bring that back in. Angle, angle, angle. There's a band on her hat. So just put yourself a line in there. And then I'm gonna do a line here in the middle of the hat for where her face is coming out of. Her face is a triangle, but it has a slightly curved, it's still pretty narrow at the chin, but you're going to curve it and come back up. It's like an upside down piece of candy corn. And then you can erase this line across the middle. I'm gonna do her nose first. And her nose is a triangle with a really long line. So I'm kind of starting up here in the middle of her face and I'm gonna curve out to the side and then bring it straight back in. And then you can erase this line that cuts across her nose. Her eyes have this same shape that her hat did. So it's just a curve and then a curve. She has a lot of black around her eye, so I'll do that once I go in the pen, but she just has two circles for her pupils. So two circles. Her mouth, you can do a little line here for the cheek. And then you're gonna take a line down and come over to the side of her face. So her mouth is going into the side of her face. The other line comes down and up into the side of her face as well. You can do a little nose line here off to the side, just a little curve with a line in it for a nostril. I'll show you that up close. See that little nose line? Some pointy teeth on the top. 
pointy teeth on the bottom. And then off to the side here, you'll do a little curved triangle for an ear with a little line in it. And she just has wavy, stringy hair pieces. So they'll go across her eye, across her face, on top of her ear. You'll have some that come just from the back. Now for her body, again, one of our favorite shapes today, we're drawing a triangle. Doesn't have to be perfect, doesn't have to be even. It's, a draw, it's her dress, which could be show movement, so don't worry about it being too perfect. And at the top of it, you're gonna wanna do three little wavy bumps for the collar of the dress. Put those right on top. To zoom in on her a bit while I draw her. Maybe make it a little easier. I just looked over and realized I'm kind of far away for those little details. <clears throat> These same bumps you did up here, you're going to do down here for the bottom of her dress. So you're just doing that little wavy shape all the way across. Arms, simple. Guess what we need? We need a triangle and a triangle. So I have one going more down, one going more up. You can do a letter U on the end of both hands. This is like the easiest way to start, I think. And then just four little zigzags to close that space off. For her legs, we'll do a line. She has a very pointy, long, skinny boot. So we're gonna do the heel of that boot first. So a little line in and then come up. So you're just giving that little bit of a heel. And then from this heel, you can curve down and up to a point, bring it back in, have it get a little wider as you get towards her leg and then that skinny leg back up. And then you'll repeat that on the other side. So a leg, put the little heel of the boot, have the boot come down and up to a point, doesn't have to match the other side, bring it back in, gets wider at the foot, and then the skinny leg back up. And she is finished. So see, these drawings really, they're not too terribly hard. It's a lot of triangular shapes. You have a triangle upside down on top of another triangle, triangles off to the side. Even the hat is like this bent triangle. It's hard lines and triangles, which I sometimes think is a little bit easier. 
Okay, so our next character, he's on the shorter side. So I'm going to have him in the middle. And I'm going to put him pretty close to her because his arm is going to come over into this space and his foot is going to be going down. So I should, I want him on the closer side to her than moving him pretty far away. So I'm just going to draw a circle for his head. That is not a circle. There we go. That's better. You're going to draw two more big circles inside of his face for his eyes. And a big old mouth, like I almost think of this as like a pumpkin mouth, like one you would put in a pumpkin drawing. So you're using almost the whole space for the mouth. You'll have two little lines for nostrils. You'll do another circle inside the eye. and another circle inside of that for the pupil. There's no circle of light in these guys. We're gonna do two little half circles on the side of the face for his ears. We can do that little ear line inside. And then little spikes for hair, like he has a little shaved head. His teeth are very big and rounded. So big, round teeth. If it's easier for you to start with the center teeth so they're in the middle, put those in first. And then you could go to the smaller teeth. His outfit is, guess what, a triangle. And then you're gonna have a rectangle for one pant leg. And then his other pant leg's gonna be coming off from the side like he's kicking his leg. And you can actually erase the little line that you made so then that way his pant legs connect. His feet almost look like duck feet. So just do two lines like you're doing a rectangle and then put three zigzags. One off to the side here, line this way. This line's gonna be a little bit longer and then three zigzags. His arms are also rectangles, one off to this side, one off to this side. A line, a line, and four zigzags. A line, a line, and four zigzags.
Now for the bones on his outfit, we're going to put an oval, a circle, a circle, an oval. And then we'll put some ovals going off to the side like rib cage. Very simple. You're not looking for them to be perfect. They don't need to match up. They don't need to align. Now the one in his arms, I'm gonna just have coming out from behind two lines and then I'll do that little curve shape on the end. So two lines, we've done that a lot in our drawings for Halloween where you do like the heart shaped tip. And then I'm gonna do the same down here. I'm gonna have one showing like just from underneath his pants. And then I'll have a full one. So heart shaped tip, long skinny, heart shaped tip. Heart shaped tip, long skinny, heart shaped tip. And there's his bones. And he's done. <laughs> that took us all of maybe five minutes. He's an easy one. Again, I really think all three of these characters are doable, even for our littles. They just have very simplistic shapes. And they're supposed to look creepy, so that's the good part, is it doesn't, you don't need to draw them perfectly because they're supposed to really kind of look creepy. <clears throat> our last guy is the tallest guy. She's the tallest just because of her hat. He's the tallest just for size. <clears throat> at least in this drawing he is, they're probably about the same height. So I'm gonna do the top of the head about the same size as hers. And then it curves down into that V-shaped triangle again. Make that a little bit wider. Same thing with his nose. I'm gonna put his in first. It's going to be very pointy. It's gonna start up here towards the middle and we're gonna curve it out this way and bring it back in. You can erase this little line you have here. For his eyes, instead of having that curve at the top like hers were, see hers were curved, curve. His, we're gonna do a flat line and a flat line kind of angling up. And then you're gonna do a curve line underneath. It doesn't need to go all the way to the end. And a little circle inside. He will also have a lot of black around his eyes. There's a lot of black in a lot of these. And then very sharp eyebrows. They're going to curve down and then up and down. That very sinister villain eyebrow. Even if you go back and look at a lot of really old cartoons, like if you're a bad guy, that's always what your eyebrow look like. <laughs> think of like, I think Cruella de Vil has an eyebrow like that. <clears throat> Same thing for the mouth. We're going to put that cheek line. We're going to bring the mouth down and up as a point. So more of a pointed mouth. Down and up. Again, more pointed. <clears throat> and he has really sharp teeth. So you're drawing almost like fangs. And then draw some on the bottom. That 
that one little ear off to the side over here, that curved triangle with a little line in it, little letter T almost. Now with his head, we're going to extend it. So we're gonna take it up on both sides, curve it in and come just shy of the middle. So you have this little opening here for almost like his devil horns. So we're going to take this up, curve to a point, and then bring it back down. So you come in the middle and then you repeat that shape on the other side. His body is a triangle. We'll put one of his arms going up in a triangle. One going more out. This is where I'm gonna run out of space. So I might shorten this arm since I'm leaving myself very little room for his arm over here. I'm gonna make the arms match. So I'll make this arm a little bit shorter so they do. So see, I just shortened that arm a smidge and now they look like they match and it looks like I purposefully ran off the page. <laughs> For this hand, it's the same thing that you did over with this guy. So line, line, four zigzags. This hand, I'm also going to have it where it looks like it's kind of going down, but his thumb is up. So I'm gonna do three zigzags down here. And then the other one up here and a little line for the palm. So see how it looks like his hands more like open like this, like it's going down. His legs are upside down triangles. So we'll put both of those legs in. You can close them off. And he has a similar shoe to her, but the heel of that boot is fatter. And then the point points inward. So heel of the boot fatter and the point comes in. And then lastly, he needs his tail. I'm gonna have his tail going back behind his arm. So it's gonna come right off of the lower here. I'm gonna do one line coming up, have it come on the other side of the arm. Another line coming up, other side of the arm. And then the end of that line is a, you guessed it, triangle. And there's his tail. And then you're all done with all three characters. So we're gonna outline these. We're gonna have a lot of black going on inside their mouths, around their eyes. Um, some of it I'm gonna do in pen, some of it I'm going to do with um, my pencils.
So this movie, I think some of you said you hadn't seen it. Some had. Some love it. Some hate it. I think I told you the first time I ever watched it, I did not enjoy it. But then, once I was older, my son really got into it, and then I just loved it. I fell in love with the music, with the characters, with the story. But it's definitely one of those movies that is um, questionable as to whether it's a Christmas movie or a Halloween movie. I think it's both. Now her eyes, I'm going to add some thickness, maybe even cut into the white portion a little bit and do black around the eye. So see how I kind of blacked out her eye there? And then those wavy hairs. And let's see, I'm gonna do black inside her mouth. Which is really gonna make those teeth stand out. Hand in there, kind of pointy duck hand. And I'm going to put some detail lines in her dress. Her, her dress is purple, but I wanted to have some like darkness to it. So I'm gonna accomplish that by just doing these really sketchy lines in her dress. Like so. I'm excited for Friday for our ghost doodle page. I literally figured we would not be doing a doodle page because I couldn't possibly think of another thing that we could doodle, <laughs> like do a whole page of doodles. And then it dawned on me how many different ghosts there are. So we're going to do a page of all different kind of ghosts. I have a bunch of them in mind, and we'll just have to see how much time, how many we can fit. Do that hair up top. The eye. Now the 
outer ring on this eye is all black also. So we're gonna color all of this space in black. You could also do it in like a really dark purple. Some images you see of them, um, it's purple around his eyes, some it's black. Sometimes um, her face is more blue, sometimes it's more green. Uh, so you can play around with whatever colors you want to do. And that adds your own kind of personalization to it. You color them in the way that you see them. Do these little nostrils. And then same here, I'm going to do his mouth and then his teeth, and then I'm gonna color all of the background space in black. I can't believe this weekend is the end of October. Oh my gosh. This year has been both the longest and fastest year ever. <laughs> there were certain months that felt like five months and then this month just feels like, I feel like I just put my Halloween stuff up. I mean, it's almost Christmas, oh God. Definitely not ready for Christmas. I'm not a person who does that in advance. So I, yeah, I'm not ready. This drawing definitely isn't very hard, but this takes time. There's a lot of like little detail work that you have to go around. So it's kind of a time consuming drawing. His pajamas are also black, but I'm gonna color those in with the pencil. I don't wanna use that much of my pen for all of that space, so I'll do that in pencil afterwards. You, of course, leave the bones white so they stand out. Pretty cute. If you did the Jack and Sally with me on the Patreon, you now have an awesome little set.
And if you've been drawing with me for a while, we once did Disney villains and Oogie Boogie was on there. He's from this. You could draw him by himself and then you'd really have an awesome set. I'm gonna make his eyebrows thicker, just thickening up that line. And I'm going to also color around his eyes in black. And then same with his mouth, we'll put the teeth in and then we'll color that background space. Remember, since you have some like bigger spaces that you've colored in black, give them a little bit of time to dry and set before you hit them with your eraser. So that way you don't accidentally smudge it all over your paper. Did anyone run out of room on this side? I came really close, but I made it fit by just shortening up his arms. And you and changing the direction of that hand. You know, if his hand was sticking right out, you would run out of space on the page also. Their shoes are also black. I'll color those in pencil. Oh, you did your sideways. That's another solution is to just turn your paper. I so commonly draw um, vertically. I don't even know why really I do that. I kind of create some constraints for myself by always drawing vertical instead of horizontal. So I have to tell you guys, I was, you know, really upset because Target didn't have my paper anymore. And then we found it at Walmart, so I ordered a bunch of it. And then as I was using it and drawing on it, I was thinking, gosh, this just doesn't seem the same. It was um, really, really smudgy. Um, so all my pencil, you know, just rubbing my hand as I was drawing along the paper, it would just smudge pencil all over my paper, make it kind of dirty looking. Um, also the tear out, this tear out side was real rough and r ragged, rugged, I don't know which word to use there. And, but you know, and I kept looking, I'm like, it's the same paper. I don't get it. And so finally the other day I was at Target and I thought, I'm just going to go ahead and buy one. I need to see if these are the same or if it's all in my head. So I bought one from Target. So this is, you know, this is the one I got from Walmart. You create sketch. 
75 sheets. This is the one I got from Target, You Create Sketch. So different, the Target one. And then I realized they're different companies. So this, the one I liked better is made in India. And the one I don't like as much is made in the USA. <laughs> so I thought it was like, I thought maybe I was losing my mind. But at least I know I was right. It is not the same paper. It might say the same thing, but it's definitely being manufactured in two different areas. And it's just not the same. I think the one from um, from Walmart is, uh, it's way smoother of a paper, it has like just a smoother, more satiny finish. And that's what leads to that smudging, but oh, I just, I can't handle the smudging. Drives me crazy. So I'm going to do her hat all in purple. I'm also going to do the band of that hat in purple, but I'm going to color that really dark. So it at least kind of has a slightly different shade to it. Has anyone displayed any other Halloween drawings or given them away or used them as cards or anything? Or are you just keeping them all in your drawing books? Don't forget to, if you don't do anything with your drawings, if you just draw and then you're done with it, um, you can always send them to me. I still give them um, to an elder facility and they hang them. They deliver them to their residents. Their residents love it. So I'm gonna do this space a little bit darker, this down here a little darker. You could also do it in black. And then that hat band. legs and the feet. So if you haven't seen this movie, these three characters work with Oogie Boogie, the villain that we drew. 
they call themselves his secret henchmen. I'm going to leave that out and I'm going to get a green. I'm going to do kind of a lighter green for her face. I think she's actually more blue, but they do wear masks in the movie, but their masks are almost like the same thing as their face. <laughs> and, uh, but I do think with the mask on, she's green, but I don't know, I could be wrong. I could be very wrong. And without the mask on, she's blue. Um, I'm going to keep him the color he is, but I'm going to put a line of kind of a purple color. You could also do a blue color around his mouth just to add some color in the face. You could also shade him a little bit with like that light blue, kind of like we did with Jack Skellington, for those of you that drew that. We have October movie night of our tour. Watch the movie with Hot Dog. Oh, that's an awesome, that's fun. I feel like I I have some, you know, Nightmare Before Christmas decorations that I put out and I put them out at Halloween, but I do feel like I watch it at Christmas time. And actually my um my Christmas wreath I used to hang on my door, which I no longer have cuz it broke. Um was Nightmare Before Christmas, but I would put it up at Halloween and I would keep it up through Christmas. but I think we almost always watch this at Christmas time. This part takes some time going around those little bones. That little detail. I love outdoor movie night though. I wish I had something to do that. I guess you could do it on like a garage door. There's a house down the street that, um, when we go trick or treating, they they are always having movies. They play scary. Well, not like they're playing kids scary movies, Hocus Pocus and Nightmare Before Christmas, things like that. Has anyone watched um, The Witches yet? The new version. I realized I had never seen the original, so I might have to go back and watch the original. Um, but we did watch the new one.
My kid loved it. The effects are great. The like, um, I can't think of the name of the woman who plays the head witch, but oh, her mouth is frightening. And when she breathes through her nose, <laughs> there's some really good effects in it. I enjoyed it. Yeah, I've heard it's great. I'm not sure how come I haven't ever seen it. It's one of those things, like, I didn't even know what it was until this new version started being advertised. And then a girlfriend said, oh, gosh, that's, like, the original version. Isn't it Angelica Houston? Um, we did watch Hubie Halloween. It's another one. My son really liked it. It was, like, the perfect kind of comedy for him. So, yes, we did see that. It's very ridiculous. Okay, I'm going to put some of those lines again in the hair here. And just a little bit coming up into these horns. I just want a little bit of detail, a little bit of darkness. I'm going to do it in his shirt too. And see, I'm not making like straight lines or full lines. I'm just adding some texture. I'm probably only going to do it here in like the armpit area and maybe a little bit in the top of the pants. I thought Hubie Halloween was good. It's cheesy as heck. I mean, it's very classic Adam Sandler, and it's almost like he pulled from every movie he's ever made and put characters in from other sh movies, and the voice he did is very much like the water boy. Um, but, oh, it was it was funny, and my, um, my son really liked it. I realized that we should probably show him some of those older Adam Sandler movies. His face I'm going to do red too, but I won't have it as dark. So I'm gonna color his outfit. Um, I'm also gonna put some blue around his mouth. Do all this on the harder side so it's darker. Um, there were so many great people in it, Terry. I mean, it, it really, it's a lot of the characters from his other movies, which he does a lot. He he has, um, you know, some of his buddies who are always in it. But this one was even more so. It was like every person in it has been in another Adam Sandler movie. Color those shoes in black. So I'll leave those uncolored. Yeah, a lot of Saturday Night Live people. Where'd my black go? Did I put it away? I did. That was silly of me. Now 
Now you could also have them saying something. You could do little um, sayings. Um, they do the, they kidnap S Santa Claus. So I might write like kidnap Mr. Santa Claus. That's what they, what they sing in their song. In fact, if you wanted to, you could do the, her saying it, kidnap Mr. Santa Claus, and then I want to do it, let's draw straws. That's like their... They each say a line. Okay. Sandy Claus, yep. I'm gonna put blue around his mouth. I think she actually has like color around her mouth too. And then I'm just gonna do this really light. Don't forget to load your pictures when you're done. A lot of you have been doing that lately. Or there's, there's about a consistent 10 or so that do it each time. Sometimes it's a couple days later or a week later, but I don't mind. I like seeing your art. Gonna add a little bit of gray here and there to this guy's face. Very light gray. And there we go. There is our lock, shock, and barrel. Halloween drawing. Got a little bit of red on there that's smudged away, smudged around. So thank you very much for drawing with me. Don't forget to load your drawings onto the page when you're done so I can see them and everyone can share in the beautiful artwork that you made. We will be back on Friday with a ghost doodle page. Um, and that is the only announcements I have. There's no sip and draw this weekend. It is Halloween. So we have the weekend off. So thank you very much and happy drawing and I'll see you guys all on Friday.